think there's any. We're off to the camp trough. <laughs> Sleepover birthday party. Patty will be 14 in a couple of weeks, so that means I have 14 year olds and 15 year old boys here for the night. Luckily, Danny will be here this year. Last year I did it solo, not this year. And so, yeah, it's, it's quite different because there's not much to do. I just got a shit ton of food. And soft drinks and they're gonna they're sorting out the beds and like remember when you had little kids and the birthday parties were so elaborate and you had to make it oh we've got to do the cake oh shit i suppose i better do a cake you know like it's not that big a deal so yeah it feels kind of weird i feel like i should be doing something but i don't actually have anything to do it's now 11 o'clock and i'm gonna read i'm reading this I know, it's very out of character for me to read a book like this. This is because of Jennifer Brooks and I was a big fan of her booktube channel for many, many years and very sadly this year she passed away and some lovely women were doing a We Love Jenny Readathon in February, February and I kind of went back through all of the Jennifer Brooks notes that I made from her recommendations, there were so many. And I've started to slowly work my way through them. And then this is, yeah, this is one of her recommendations. I, I'm 226 pages. I have devoured this. I love it. It's just like set in 860 or something AD or, or like it's over a span of time. And it's about the Danes invading England. And I haven't watched any of the Viking shows, so I don't know anything about this. I asked my husband last night if Ragnar was a real dude and he has watched the Viking shows. He was like, yeah, and gave me a big rundown on what those shows taught him about Ragnar. So I feel like I'm reading historical moments in a fictional form, which is my most favorite thing to do in the whole world. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. I am, yeah, I've only got this to go, this little bit, so. I would love to devour this today. We'll just see where the day heads, but right now I've got my warm cuppa and I'm gonna read and take a moment to come down after my morning out. Chipmunks music. I banned my kids from listening to Chipmunks music when they were little. But I can't 
can't do it now that they're teenagers. They have to make choices of their own. I can't save them all. It's so fucking annoying. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Your horse wins the office. Melbourne Cup sweep. <laughs> Collect one hundred dollars. Yeah. It's so bright. Sun setting. I've had a small reprieve from Monopoly, and they are playing video games against each other in all different rooms of the house in there. And so I got a moment. I'm showered and dressed because I'm heading back to the camp draft. Big day at the draft. Um, friends who I haven't seen in a long time are there. So Denny and I are playing some tags. He's there now watching the finals. He'll come home. I'll go in just to say good day and um, yeah, catch up with them. You don't really realise. I just because I've come back to live in the place where I was in my twenties and late teen, like. I moved to this town when I was 17. I left when I was 26. And I formed this amazing friendships with so many people. And I think when you're in your 20s, and you do dumb shit all the time. And people just keep showing up for you. And they do dumb shit and you keep keep showing up for them. Like it, it forms this kind of bond. And so these people that I'm going to catch up with over here, I have not seen since I was maybe... 20 and yeah I just feel like I just love them and know them that was like 20 something years ago so it's just it's amazing the community you form in your 20s when you're all just out of control have no idea what's going on just like fumbling your way through I think it's really solid anyway just reflecting on that it feels nice so in between going to the draft now I'm going to finish this book things are heating up it's getting very exciting you tread is that his name you tread that's what i'm calling him yeah he's making moves some big moves are going to happen and i know that i'm going to need to read the second book straight away which is dangerous because i haven't even shown you my tbr card i mean look and they're just library books all library books i've gone crazy on the prize lists and the library holds it's real <laughs> I am now dictated by <laughs> a library return date for all of these books. I've got Stella Prize, I've got Booktube Prize, I've got Walter Scott Prize, I've got International Booker Prize, I've got the Book Naturalists Club, I've got some more Jennifer Brooks recommendations. It's full. It's exciting. I like it being full. Okay, I'm going to read. I'll let you know when I finish this. Hopefully it'll be before I go back to the draft. Hello, beautiful ones. Happy Sunday. Next day, I survived the teenager sleepover birthday party. It was nowhere near as bad. I just went to sleep. I don't know if that's very responsible, but Apparently they went to sleep at 4 a.m. So everybody, everyone's gone home except for one. I have to take him back to his boarding house soon. And they're just kind of like flaking out. So, I mean, we did it. We did it. We did it. Draft is on again today. I hope you enjoyed those shots. <laughs> I don't know whether camp drafts happen anywhere else in the world, but... That's our, that's one of our horse sports that I got roped into when I married a cowboy. So, so today has the potential to be busy, but we're just gonna see how we go. I did finish my book. And this is the first book in a big series. And um, I absolutely ate this up. I loved it so very much. It's sort of set around the Danish invading England in the late 800s. There's a central character who kind of swaps between the Danes and the English side and um, 
it kind of follows his journey through all of that. It is, it, it was the biggest escape I have had for a really long time. Like I remember I was just finishing it off and I looked up and just, you know, when you're reading and you don't realize the time's going, you have no connection with anything outside of you. Every now and then I drop into that, but when I, every time I opened the pages for this book, I was sucked into this world of war, you know? I haven't watched any Viking shows. I, I, I haven't seen Game of Thrones. Like, I'm not interested in that viewing, but the books, this has changed me. I've immediately put the second book in the series on hold at the library. So yeah, it was great. It was, it was a great role. So yeah, that book's done. I am going to be dictated by what my library needs me to send back as to what I read next, which is a place I never want to be in. But here we are. <laughs> Do it to myself every time. So let me check that and then I'll let you know what I'm going to read next. And I think I'm going to sink into it, maybe in bed and nap and fall back to sleep because it is a Sunday after all, right? My books out of the front room because the sun was getting in on them and I moved them in here into the studio because just shh, don't tell anyone but I'm slowly making this my apartment <laughs> the little things I love it. Shh, I plan to move out of the main house very soon out of boy energy and into my own beautiful feminine space I mean really I need to go for a swim and then I'm gonna show you what I'm doing with these because I am yeah putting them in a little Check all my books. But first, it's super hot. And Fitzy's squealing. He got in the water, so that means the water's super cold. <laughs> Let's see. It's super cold. Okay, the pool is freezing. <laughs> so. What I found was this app called Book Buddy. I don't know how I found it. I think I saw it somewhere, but I can't remember where. And it's just like a library book app where you catalog your books. And I thought it would be good to have a list <laughs> of the books that I have when I'm out book shopping because I've been buying a lot of doubles lately and because I've been collecting books for years now, I think I started this collection maybe six or seven years ago. And yeah, I'm forgetting what I have. And I also like that I can know all of the Australian books that I have and the translated books that I have. And yeah, I just have a bit more understanding of, of my physical TBR. So I am going to the books that are on the shelf i have logged already i'm up to i don't know 190 something crazy and then i'm just going to plod through over the days and the weeks ahead i'm sure it will take that long and just scan these in and put them on my shelves and then this room will become more like my reading space because Let's face it, the reading space in the main house, we tend to get interrupted a lot. And this room has a bed in it, so win-win, right? That's my book play for today. I've made a small dent. I've filled up those two shelves. We are 336 books logged on this app and all of that to go.
Sunday afternoon. I've been to work and I'm back home now. I didn't do anything yesterday afternoon because I was just strung out from <laughs> dealing with all these books. So I just watched a movie with my little one, did some swimming, all that sort of stuff. But I'm here to finish this project off because I don't want books laying around everywhere and I want this room set up for my reading. So that's the goal. That's what we're going to do. I don't have, Danny's doing all the school pickups and stuff. I'll make some dinner later and I'm going to go for a little run with my big boy. And that's, that's kind of it. I'd love to do some creative work this afternoon. I'd love to do some sewing. But, you know, when you've just got that task that just keeps bugging you and you're like, I just got to get this finished, this is it for me. So let's make this happen. I'm going to put on a podcast, make this happen, show you when it's all done. Here we are. It fit perfectly. All of my, there, all of my Australian books on top. 593 books to read. That's in Saturday. We need to do some maths around this. Oh God, can I do maths around this? If a book takes me, if I were to like really sink into a book and it took me three days, two days to read, let's do two because that's an easier calculation. What is that? That's just under 1200 days of reading. Is that right? 1,800. And 60 days of reading? No. Yes. Could that be right? Anyway, let's say that, right. 1,860 days of reading. And there's 365 days in the year. So say I read like 300 days of those. What's that mean? How many times does 300 go into that? <laughs> 12... That's four, five is 15, six. That's six years. Could that maths be right? Anyway, that works in my head. Six years of reading. If I read a book, if I read 300 days a year and a book only took me two days to read. Holy schmucks. And I still haven't recorded all of my classics, all of my nonfiction. we'd be looking at 10 years of reading that's so exciting the possibilities and i'm borrowing library books oh gosh anyway it's beautiful and i just lay in my bed and looked at it and oh, my reading space is coming together makes me very happy i've still got this is kind of the non-fiction stuff that i found and the classic stuff that i found in the piles it's going to go back in <laughs> and the boys will kill me if I ask them to do that again. So I might start doing some lugging and get the books back in there that need to go in there. And then this little project will be done. the next project but long time viewers will remember the top 50 Australian books it's been hidden in a corner for a long time but I'll get to it soon just not today I've had enough book play <laughs> I'm gonna sign off from the vlog now it's been a great few days hanging out hope you've enjoyed the book play and I'll see you when I decide to film again <laughs>